everybody and welcome back to my channel excuse my appearance I'm gonna do a full get ready with me doing my hair my makeup and the most important part is my hair I'm dyeing it I think I've always dyed my hair to be honest I'm really I don't know I just dye my hair often <laughs> it's not even funny my hair's dead basically the story behind this is we had this like really bad pink hairspray and my sisters used it but it was really bad I thought, okay, why don't we just actually dye your hair? And that's what we would, we've done, what well, we're doing. And we all decided to have different colours. I already had pink hair dye and I've had pink hair before. So I'm having pink, my sister Grace is having blue, and my sister Lily's having purple. And we actually did kind of do the hairs last night, but basically my mum was being a little weirdo and she was like, don't use the entire thing, so we didn't. And then it didn't turn out as vibrant, like little barely turned out. So we're gonna do it again today, and we're gonna do my hair pink. I'd film it because why not? Yeah. When I had pink hair last, I had it for like a month and a half ish, seven weeks. And I actually really liked it. It was a very, it suited me and my soul. And when it faded, I got the perfect shade of like icy blonde hair. And I had that for a week until I dyed it brown. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, so, yeah, it's gonna be thin, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm just gonna get into it because I'm really excited to dye my hair. Just brush my hair through, it looks really crazy. This is the brand I'm using, it's the Revolution. This is the one that lasts eight to 12 weeks, it's in the shade Pink Cloud. I used this when I dyed my hair last time and I, basically the first time I put it on, I didn't really do it, then the second time it did. So that's all about my pink hair. Hopefully it doesn't, and I do have with the pink dye though, it's just not this make. So, I never tie my hair up either when I do this, I just whack it on. I did do a patch test as well. I have used this before, but I always do patch tests because it's safety first. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I just finished putting that on. I'm like 99.9% sure that I got all of my hair. I used the entire tub. <laughs> so, just got it everywhere, like on my legs as well. Um, yeah, oh, this is defo, a dark colour, what I used last time, but you know what, it's funny because it lasts longer. And it says, how long do I need to do this one for? 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm a rebel. I'm gonna leave on for longer than that. I'm such a rebel, it said to put it on wet hair, like, but I like, dry hair. Um, I don't know, I find hair dye takes better to dry hair. That's how I did the last time as well. I'm just a gangster. <laughs> I will come back to you when I'm washing it out. It's not even, and I've already found some bits I kind of miss, like up here, in my rootage. I thought I did a good job, I didn't. And there's a tiny bit in my fringe, but I I think I covered that with like the swipes on the side. But hopefully that bit in my roots will be covered up. Probably not. But would it even be me dyeing my hair if I didn't miss loads of bits out? Time has gone off. I'm gonna go shower to wash this out. It was the easiest one. I need to shower anyway. So I will come back. Hopefully it sticks. <laughs> Cross everything. Cross fingers, toes, eyes. Alright, so obviously I've showered, it's been a while, um, I was dying my sister's hair again as you can see. I wear gloves this time, so. Yeah, the pink is defo stuck. There's a few bits that are a little bit lighter, a little bit blondy, but that's fine. Um, I'm not judging it yet because I can never judge hair when it's wet because sometimes it will be wet and then it'll turn out the colour I want when I think it won't or sometimes I think it'll be perfect then it isn't. So I'm going to wait for it to dry. I never blow dry my hair, I like to let it dry naturally. Yeah, I'll come back in a little bit because I need to sort my sister's hair out now. Hopefully, theirs looks better this day because if it doesn't, I think I'll get killed because my hair looks good. This is what I deal with with my natural hair, guys. I look like a candy floss lion. I'm gonna put some of this in. This brand is 
Umbrotto Gianni? And the pump doesn't work. It like didn't come out, so I have to like scrape it off of here. That's not so professional. I have to like scrape it off. I have to do this quite a few times. I don't know if this does anything to my hair, but I like to think it does because my hair is so dry. If anyone has any tips and tricks, because I literally have so many hair masks and so many things. It's probably because I didn't use a hair mask when I obviously wash my hair. I didn't wash my hair, I washed the dry out. I didn't use a hair mask then, I probably should have, to be honest. I'm actually really excited to do my makeup as well. I feel like when you dye your hair and do your makeup and like style it, you always feel like a new person. That's my aim today, to feel like a new person. I think I'm gonna do some pinky red eyeshadow. That's what I did when I first dyed my hair pink. I like did kind of a ready eyeshadow. So I'm gonna stick to that. I think I'm gonna straighten my hair as well because this is not a look. I'm gonna go in with some toner as well just before I do my makeup because my skin's actually looking pretty good at the moment. It's just like this spot over here that's ruining everything. Apart from that, my skin's really good. I started using like a different cleanser maybe it's that i'm using the biggest mirror note tomorrow like this is the beauty by identity palette i put loads of stickers on it because it came with stickers look how big that mirror is quite big you know actually i'm gonna change my setup a little bit today i'm just on the floor i'm gonna put my mirror like in front of me down here because i feel like i always end up talking and then my mirror is in front of my mouth and it's just like you can't hear what I'm saying. I'm going to go with my usual Avon Mark Brow Ting. I'm just going to do my brows normally because I'm not going to do them pink or anything. That would be silly. Still really bad at eyebrows for anyone who is wondering. I mean, you can tell that. I need to actually get better at eyebrows because I am growing my fringe out and it's actually growing now. So I need to like sort my eyebrow game out because you can see them now. Yikers. Did I just say yikers? That was disgusting. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm actually really tempted to shave the ends of my eyebrows off. I feel like I'd actually really regret it and look silly when I'm not wearing makeup. So I don't know what to do because everyone else seems to be doing it. And I like jumping on trends apparently. They just don't look good. <laughs> Imagine being good at eyebrows. Can't relate. I literally never use eye primer. I always use my concealer. It's quite bad. I actually own an eye primer as well. I've never used it. What I like with this palette is like on the top there's numbers and on the side it's like what the shadows go in horizontally are for so it's like the top row is the base like a kind of nudie colour then the next one's transition and crease line out pop and highlight um i just like that so i'm going to go in with the shade liner five on my lid that's like a neon cherry red pink i like the angles and this are all wrong You know, I actually find it quite concerning that I'm out here posting makeup videos when my makeup looks like this. I'm gonna use my I Heart Revolution Strawberry Whip Primer because it's pink. That's the only reason. There's so much pink going on right now on this screen. Basically, the only reason I'm wearing this ugly neon pink top is a Converse top. The only reason I'm wearing it is because when my hair was drying, I didn't want any like excess kind of colour to come off in the water. No. I don't know if that's a thing, but that's what I did apparently. I'm gonna go with a mix of foundations because I'm I'm not just saying I'm tan, but I feel like I'm not. I'm gonna go in with the wet mold photo focus one and I've got a little bit of the elf one I might mix in. Depends how I'm looking. I don't know what my skin colour is at the moment. And I mixed a little bit of this in. So if it was tan enough for me yesterday, I'm sure it's tan enough for me today. I don't even know what day is today. Is it just me who loses track of the days? in like lockdown because i literally never have a bloody clue what day it is the only way i like know is from when Corey's on because Corey's on every monday wednesday or friday now i need to like these underwear bags because these are not cute i find it really fun that i haven't told anyone i've dyed my hair pink i'm gonna literally work my bum off to make sure this video is up today before I show anyone my hair so 
it's gonna be really fun. So if any of my friends were watching shaking their heads in disapproval, so and then I just go over my entire face and my blender to make sure it's all blended in. Oh my god, my double chins. How do I get rid of double chins? Because they're really upset me, you know. <sighs> my eye heart revolution peach powder. I feel like I'm so predictable with the products that I use. I'm so sorry. I would mix it up, but I just don't like change. This is really good though, it sets my makeup in place for the entire day. I used to be just a pressed powder sort of girl, but then I discovered the Rimmel powder and I really liked that. <clears throat> and to be honest, I just bought this because I have a revolution, it's so cute, like the stuff they do. I got a bunch of stuff from them, I got one of their little donut palettes because it was squidgy and pink. <laughs> you can tell pink's my favourite colour. I got this powder, I got a few other bits as well, I got obviously the strawberry whip stuff. I've got quite a few bits from them, I really like them to be fair. Right, I'm just gonna go in with those two colours I used on my eyes, just underneath the eyes. My Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because this is literally the best. I used to absolutely love the CYO one, and that's literally £4, and that's like really, really good. It's like my second favourite. But I think this tops it because it's. Honestly, the only reason is because it smells like coconut and peaches. Right, this is the I Heart Revolution again. Blushing Hearts Triple Weight Blusher. Um, what shade is this? Candy Queen of Hearts. I honestly just want to use pink everything today to match my hair. Now, like I said, my Wet n Wild highlight. This is so good. I really want to use the other one that, like, is more goldy but it's too dark for me so I'll never end up buying it. If you couldn't tell I always like the tip of my nose to be looking like Rudolph. I'm just using my Maybelline Lash Sensational. My eyelashes have still got a lot of lift you know from the lash lift I did the other day. Not the other day. It was like a week ago I did it now. And I think it could have been a lot better if I didn't get my eyelashes wet. I didn't mean to do, it kind of just happened. This is the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Garfrey. I got this from Sephora, fun fact, that no one cared about. This is a really pretty colour. Oh, so gorgeous. I think this is a Tanya Bear lip gloss, but I'm not sure. Be right back in a second when I straighten my hair. Right, so I'm back. I straightened my hair, as you can see. There are some blonde bits, but I'm not really mad at it. I really like it. I also changed my lipstick because I felt like it's a bit too browny. So I changed it to a Maybelline one in the shade Smoky Rose, I think. One of the colour sensational ones. But yeah, I'm living life at the moment. I'm feeling really happy in pink. Yeah. I literally went from looking like a zombie to looking like a normal human. Not a human with pink hair. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this hair colour, let me know because maybe I'll keep it for a little bit longer. I don't know. I'm vibing with it at the moment. But yeah, if you've got any suggestions for anything, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!